Hi, I'm Marin and welcome back to my channel, Marin Makes It. Today, I'm gonna to be demystifying eggnog for you. What is it? Is it healthy? Should you be drinking it this holiday season? Growing up, eggnog was not part of my family's Christmas traditions. I don't know if this was just my parents and that they didn't buy it or they didn't like it, so we didn't make it, or if this was partially to do with the fact that eggnog is originally British and my family is German. Anyways, as I got older, eggnog was one of those things where you don't really know what it is, but at some point you've surpassed the age where it's acceptable to ask people and it's acceptable to not know what that is. And so I just never asked. So eggnog became like this big mystery to me. I mean, think about this. We're, we're all used to candy changing out throughout the seasons and, you know, the Christmas candy section showing up and the Halloween candy section showing up. But what is this product just shows up in the dairy section just for a few weeks every year. And then, okay, so it shows up and it stands with the milks but it has egg in the name. I was so confused. So what is eggnog? Eggnog is a mixture of milk, eggs, heavy cream, sugar, usually spiced with vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. It's originally British and has migrated into American culture. Eggnog can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Then I started to wonder, okay, so eggs are healthy, milk is healthy, is eggnog healthy? So I went on an internet googling quest to compare eggnog in terms of the nutrition facts and the nutrition labels for you. The first product I looked at was the premium old style eggnog from Meadow Gold. I decided to look at a different brand of traditional eggnog just to see if the numbers would vary at all. This one is the one from Dara Gold. It actually has even more calories. I found that Kroger makes a low fat cinnamon eggnog. I decided to still take a look at some dairy alternatives. So these are basically the non-dairy equivalents to the milk. So you have almond milk, now you have almond milk eggnog, you have oat milk, oat milk eggnog, soy milk, soy milk eggnog. So because I'm a little bit of a nerd, I decided to put all these numbers together in a spreadsheet that I'm going to share with you guys. I have regular dairy products in blue. The next group is in red for Christmas, and that's your dairy eggnogs. The third group is going to be in green because also Christmas, and also these are the plant-based eggnogs, so green for plants and green for Christmas. The last group on the spreadsheet I added in black is the three other drinks like Coca-Cola, McDonald's Vanilla Milkshake, and Starbucks Caramel Frappuccino. I just wanted to give you guys some other common drinks that you might sometimes have or, or reference here that I think will help put it into context. The original nutrition facts are written for a half cup. However, I think most people are probably drinking more than a half cup when they make a drink of eggnog. So this is what one cup of eggnog looks like. So this is a pretty standard size mason jar and you can see that it's you know barely half full when I pour one cup. So I wanted to be able to compare all the brands directly to each other as well as to regular milk. So I standardized all my numbers now to be for a one cup serving size. I know it can be kind of hard to have a feeling for these calorie numbers. So I just want to point out a couple of key takeaways. Something that manufacturers will do a lot of the time to make something low fat, they'll add in some sugar. Because the thing is, when you take out the fat, it doesn't taste as good. And so they have to make up that flavor difference somehow. And oftentimes that will be in adding sugar or adding salt. All the plant milks are going to have pretty much zero grams of saturated fat because saturated fat usually comes from animals. Almond Nog has the lowest calories across the board of anything that I compared. This one has 140 calories per cup. These non-dairy alternatives are coming in right around the same calories per cup as whole milk. The calories in regular eggnog are most comparable to the calories in a cup of half and half. Which is kind of crazy. Keep in mind that all these reference values that I provided are for just the eggnog. If you decide to make your eggnog an adult beverage and add a little bit of alcohol in there, the calories are going to go up due to the calories of alcohol. Conclusion is that if you're watching your weight this holiday season, eggnog might be a one to skip, or maybe you want to try one of the, the lower calorie non-dairy alternatives that we talked about in this video. If you're just eh on eggnog, or maybe if it's that kind of thing where when you see it, you're like, ah, I guess I could have a glass, then maybe that's the, the thing you want to skip this holiday season is. Now, if eggnog is like your treat and you look forward to this all year long, then by all means, please have it this holiday season. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have it. Everybody has things that are really worthwhile and really special to them at the holidays. And if you do decide to have it, just consider how much you're gonna have when you do have it, how often you're gonna have it throughout the holiday season, and also what other choices are you making around this decision? Is this your only alcoholic drink for the night? Is this your dessert? Are you not having anything else sweet today? You know, can we have a healthier meal earlier in the day maybe? Can we create some balance here around this decision? You can definitely make space for those treats that are really worthwhile for you, but we wanna do so in a way that is a little bit more balanced with the rest of our day. 
Also, just really enjoy it. If this is going to be your treat, then enjoy it, please. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. If you're choosing to have eggnog this holiday season, then enjoy. See you next time. Merry Christmas.